We begin tonight with Decision 2024 coverage. With just 10 days until the election, Minnesota's first lady and wife of vice presidential candidate Tim Walz continued her visit to Upper Michigan today to encourage door-to-door -door knocking. TV6's Julia Seitz asked Gwen Walls why knocking on doors is important during a campaign. Minnesota's first lady, Gwen Walls, continued her UP campaign today. She visited Escanaba to motivate Harris Walls volunteers to knock on doors in light of today being the start of early in-person voting in Michigan. Walls went door to door knocking herself in the neighborhood. So when you go door to door, people are willing to tell you things that they have concerns about, um, that they're hopeful for, and they know that you're asking for their vote. During a speech at Carpenters Hall, she says volunteers are doing hard but necessary work. Bay College Democrats Club President Rebecca Klaus says knocking on doors helps people who haven't registered to vote or don't know how to vote. More people have signed up for canvassing this weekend than any other weekend. People are incredibly excited. Knowing that somebody is supporting us and actually coming is just awesome. It's big. Klaus is excited for Walls' visit because it shows that the Harris team cares for rural areas. She also likes how Kamala Harris supports the middle class since she's working class. I think it's important to have a president that is also from a working class. Um, makes me feel more seen and more heard. Walls mentions that the Harris's rural agenda, which addresses issues in rural America like health care and tax cuts, are specific to Michigan voters. Many of us are middle class and, and the tax cut that she is proposing is for the middle class, unlike Donald Trump, who's proposing it for the upper class, um, just that small percentage of his supporters. Walls urged volunteers to do their part and knock on doors. Julia Seitz, TV6 News, Escanaba.